Hello everyone, we are finally live. We are so excited to do our first live demonstration of microneedling with PRP. It's one of the big treatments that we are promoting in the month of June. We have our lovely girl Danielle right here. She's volunteering to be our model. Um, we're so happy for you to join us. I'm kind of going to be a little bit repetitive throughout this whole video because I know we're going to have joiners come um, you know, maybe not right necessarily when we start, but a couple of things for all of our viewers to, viewers to remember. Number one, tag as many friends as you would like because the more friends that you tag, the more entries you will have in the PRP Vampire Facelift Microneedling that we are giving away. Number two, make sure you like this photo. Um, make sure you like this video and ask us questions. This is a very, very interactive uh, video and we want to answer all of the questions that you have. So ask us questions. Laura will tell me when they're coming in and we'll address them throughout the treatment. But basically what we're going to be doing is showing you exactly what we do for PRP, answering questions, tell you about the benefits, the downtime, uh, the special pricing that we're doing for June, and you get to see it live here. So let's get started. Danielle, how do you feel? I feel amazing. We've got her numbing cream on for about 30 minutes. Can you feel it? I sure can. Not feeling. Okay. <laughs> We've dehydrated her face. And what microneedling is, is it uses a little skin pen that at its deepest goes 2 millimeters. At its lightest goes about 0.1 to 0.5 millimeters. So it's pretty superficial. But the whole point of microneedling is to penetrate really good serums into the skin. And with PRP, we are using Danielle's own blood, which we actually drew this morning. And as you can see, it's a gold serum. We've got about 12 cc's total that we're using. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. And what it does is it contains your body's own growth factors in order to stimulate more collagen induction. So we're gently just squeezing the PRP right on her forehead and starting up our skin pen. And we're creating these tiny little micro channels into the skin and we're penetrating that serum into those micro channels. It should feel like little cat scratches. I don't feel anything. <laughs> Danielle is a tough little cookie. So she says she doesn't feel anything. And your skin's natural response to this is just a little bit of erythema, a little bit of redness. So it's a great treatment to do all throughout the summer because there's very, very, very minimal downtime. Now, what does microneedling help with? It helps with fine lines, wrinkles. It can help with sun damage, a little pigmentation. And like I said, we are trying to trick your skin into producing more collagen because collagen is what gives your skin its elastin, its suppleness, its tautness. And as we age, we lose that. We lose it from genetics, environmental factors, the sun. So we're trying to get some of that youthful, youthful glow back. I love microneedling because the very next day, if you want, I'm gonna go over uh, at the end of this treatment some wonderful makeup that we sell by Oxygenetics. It's the only makeup that you can actually use post-procedure. It lays on the top of your skin kind of like a screen door, so it promotes oxygen flow and faster healing. But for our patients that, you know, don't have a lot of downtime, kind of want to cover up whenever they get a treatment, it's their go-to makeup. And we have it in tons of different shades so it will match any skin type. Like I said, for all of our viewers, please ask any questions that might come up. We'll be addressing any concerns or questions that you have. Elizabeth says, hi, Shay. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. I think that might be, I think I know who that is. One of our lovely patients. How long is the downtime? Downtime with microneedling and PRP is faster than regular microneedling, actually, because your body recognizes the platelets as its own. So it's a faster healing time. Um, everyone is different as far as downtime goes. I'm gonna get closer, guys. Yeah, I get nice and out here so you can see. Uh, pinpoint bleeding is definitely normal with this treatment. And afterwards, it's just gonna look like she has an intense sunburn. So as far as downtime, your face will be a little bit red, 
for about four to six days. However, that doesn't mean that if you spend a little bit of extra time in the mirror with some good oxygenetics makeup, you could cover it up pretty well. Because at two millimeters deep, it's not resurfacing like a deep laser treatment would. Is there gonna be any flaking or anything? Every patient is different. Sometimes you can get a little dry skin and a little flaking, but that's totally normal. It's not as aggressive as a chemical peel would be where it's like sheets and sheets. It all depends on how you take care of it afterwards and how you moisturize. We're creating this tiny little thermal injury so your skin is definitely in a fragile state. So we want you to kind of baby it. Can't go out in the sun. Obviously we would never promote tanning. And we want you to keep it super moisturized and protected with sunscreen during the day. Do you have a good sunscreen, Danielle? Mm-hmm. Good. Yes, I use Giuliani facial aesthetic um, sunscreen. The tinted one? Yes. That's the one I'm going to talk about. I love it. This is plus. We have a question coming in from Elizabeth. Does it hurt? No. Describe what you're feeling, Danielle. I am feeling um, pressure, and that's about it. Does it feel, I think it feels like little cat scratches, mm, but very it. tolerable. Yeah, it doesn't even feel um, like a cat scratch even. I mean, I get the comparison of what you're trying to, but I think the um, micro needle is so thin and fine that it's, it's extremely tolerable. So as you can see here, turns bright red right after. A lot of people associate microneedling with PRP and the whole vampire facelift with just dripping blood all over the face and you know it, it's a more gory treatment than it actually is. Even with regular microneedling, you'll get pinpoint bleeding and that's normal. It subsides after a few hours, this little pink hue that she has to her skin. And like I said, she can wear makeup and cover this up the very next day. We have another question from Jen. Okay. How long do you have to wait between each session? Absolutely. Great question, Jen. So nothing in the aesthetic world is ever a one and done. We love to promote microneedling as a series. Um, so we say to get the best results, do a series of three to four microneedling sessions, three to four weeks apart. So it's basically like once a month. And the specials that we are offering right now throughout the month of June, we also um, have advertised on our Instagram website and Facebook pages, but it is four treatments of microneedling for $13.50. One of them is upgraded to a complimentary PRP. Just keep your eyes closed for a second. Or three treatments for $9.99, with one of them being upgraded to a PRP. I love that treatment, or the treatment package because it's great for patients to see the difference between regular microneedling and microneedling with PRP. Not to take anything away from regular microneedling, we'll use a really good hyaluronic acid or a different type of growth factor, but your body just recognizes the PRP as your own. You heal a lot quicker and it just helps you with that nice, nice glow. One thing I really want to emphasize with this treatment is it takes a few times. I've done two so far, um, and I noticed a little bit of a glow after the first one, but I noticed it was really, really amplified after the second one. It's kind of like you get this snowball effect. You do one treatment three to four weeks, you do another one, and you're building double the amount of collagen then. Typically we use different depths, for different areas of the skin too because some areas are a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. So most patients will have a um, little bit of discoloration, maybe some acne scars from when they were younger on the cheeks. Mm -hmm. So in those areas, we can go a lot deeper. Bigger the injury, more collagen you're stimulating there. But areas like the forehead, temples, directly under the eyes, that skin is too thin so we wouldn't want to go too deep there. How are the areas feeling that we already treated, Danielle? Fine. And this is my first time. 
Just an FYI. Were you nervous? A little bit. Most patients will always think that it's way worse than it actually is. Then we start and they say, oh, I can handle that. So then I'm constantly just drizzling the PRP already in the treated areas so that her skin just soaks it up. Don't forget to tune in next week where Dr. Zuliani will actually be doing a live demonstration of how we use PRP for hair restoration. We're offering some wonderful specials with hair restoration. It's literally like half the price of what it normally is. So if this is something that you've been thinking about, now would be the time to do it. We've got some great aftercare kits that we're including with that treatment. Our very own hair growth kit, it comes with shampoo, vitamin pills that you take every night, and a peptide that you can spray. I'll always ask the patient too where their problem areas are, like where we want to focus. Whether it be the little marionette lines or the crow's feet. And we try to do extra passes on those areas too. Alyssa, who just tuned in, is asking again if it hurts. So if you want to go over that again. No, it does not, Alyssa. She did apply numbing cream, so she's feeling nice and numb. Mm -hmm. We put the numbing cream on for about 30 minutes. And let me tell you from personal experience, I've done this treatment with numbing cream and without, just to see what it felt like. The numbing cream is an important. It's doable without, but it's not very comfortable. So we like our patients to be as comfortable and at ease as possible. Aftercare with this treatment, gentle cleanser, nothing too harsh, nothing with anti-aging, glycolic, salicylic, gentle moisturizer because we want to keep your skin super moisturized while it's in this fragile state, and of course, sunscreen during the day. I have a question coming in from Shiva. Hi, Shiva. Hi, Shiva. Um, she's asking, how often does it have to be done for best results? So for best results, we like to do a series of at least three or four. Some patients will see, you know, very, very minute results after one, but that's why we really try to promote to do the package. Um, we're offering a package of four for $13.50 with one complimentary upgrade to PRP or three treatments for $9.99 with one complimentary upgrade to PRP. As you can see, it looks like Danielle just has an intense sunburn. And definitely stay tuned because we are gonna show her progress throughout the next four to five days. I'm gonna turn all the way this way, Danielle. Mm -hmm. So you can see exactly what it entails. But the redness that she has right now will subside by about tomorrow afternoon. Karen's on and she says she's ready for number two, Shalene. <laughs> yes. I'm ready whenever you are, baby. It's so funny too because a lot of times whenever you try a service like this, it could be a little bit apprehensive. That's why we want to start doing these live videos so we can show our patients exactly what it entails. But most patients, once they try it once, are hooked. Great treatment to do during the summertime. Not a lot of downtime. There's not, um, it's not resurfacing the skin in a very, very intense way like a deep laser treatment would do, like a profractional or a halo. You can conceal it and cover up um, your recovery time pretty good. But I do also really like to, oops, sorry. I do always like to emphasize the fact that there is some downtime and everyone is a little different. If you have a little bit more mature skin, you might be red for a day extra than someone that's a little bit younger and their skin bounces back a little faster. This treatment is great for all skin types, any age, 
And remember, if you guys want to win one of these, make sure to be tagging your friends in the comments. The more friends you tag, the more entries you get. And we are going to be announcing the winner tomorrow. So good luck to everyone. Think about it this way. If you book a package, you could get a free PRP and you get the upgrade too. So you could do two PRPs. So again, we're just gliding the skin pen right along the surface of her skin, creating those tiny little micro channels to really get the PRP deep into those micro channels. With our regular microneedling treatment, we'll use... <laughs> Sorry, Karen's tagging herself. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Karen. <laughs> Can't tag yourself, guys. We're on to ya. Angie's asking if she can nominate herself. For what? As a volunteer? I'm guessing a free treatment. Yes, anyone can volunteer themselves, but if you want more chances to win, you've got to tag your friends and ask us some good questions too. We like to interact with our patients. And give this video, I'm loving all the likes and the hearts, guys. Keep share them coming. Share, share to share. <laughs> How you doing, Danielle? Great. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice and red. That's what we like to see. So Danielle, what are you going to do when you get home tonight as your aftercare? I'm going to moisturize. Well, can I wash my face? Oh, no, Question. Actually, right. Can I wash my face? You can wash your face tonight right before you go to bed just with your gentle cleanser. Is it going to sting? It might sting just a little bit. That's normal, but it will definitely subside. Okay, and then I will apply the serum, or no? Yep, you're going to apply your moisturizer. Not this serum. The, you get the best moisturizer to use, I'm going to go over that at the end, of mm -hmm. course. Um, but we like to use a hyaluronic acid because it holds a thousand times its weight in water. I'm going to come over to the other side, guys. I'm moving. I'm moving. Give them a different angle. Yeah, see on the other side. So, Danielle is actually doing really good because we kind of have her on a high setting for her upper lip. But if you're like me and drink out of straws, sometimes you get those pesky little lines and mm -hmm. it's a little bit of a tender area right here. But how is it? Perfect. You guys didn't see, but she just gave a thumbs up. You got a question from Angie. Is treatment good for sun damage? It's not the greatest, greatest treatment for sun damage, but it can definitely help because it is rejuvenating and resurfacing the skin. And Shiva asked, can I get this done six weeks post-op from a rhinoplasty and um, fat transfer? Um, I think we want to wait about eight to 10 weeks. So just a little bit longer than what you thought, Shiva. What was that, that again? Eight to 10 weeks. Eight to 10 weeks, Shiva. I have a line in the center in my lips above. Oh, look at this one getting particular with me now. <laughs> Can you just hit that one and that one? I also love to do these treatments in conjunction with other treatments. Um, so like your question, Angie, about the sun damage, we have a treatment called BBL, Broadband Light, and it's actually looking for pigment in the skin. Um, I actually love to do a BBL first and then microneedling right after because on the one hand you've got the BBL targeting all those broken capillaries, pigmented lesions or sun damage um, and then with the microneedling you're stimulating the collagen. It helps you heal a lot faster than if you just did a BBL on its own. So microneedling is a great treatment to add. Um, Karen is asking what is the number one benefit for doing this? Number one benefit for microneedling with PRP is to help stimulate collagen. It's, our skin stops creating collagen in our 20s, unfortunately. So we have to trick it into creating more. And by damaging it in a healthy way or a controlled way, your body says, oh, I'm hurt, I'm injured, I've got to repair it. So it sends all the antibodies there, and by using PRP, 
it's actually increasing the healing time. This is a great treatment to do for patients who have always wanted to try. You might have to sneeze. Let me know if you do. <laughs> the nose is really uh, okay. Yeah, it tickles. I should have warned you about that yeah. for a second. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I got distracted. Surprise. Um. Oh shoot. What was I saying? <laughs> Number one benefit for yep. doing this. It after 20. Oh yeah. Oh, so we stop creating collagen in our 20s. Mm -hmm. So we have to trick our skin into producing more collagen. So if we're creating these tiny little micro channels while infusing the PRP in those micro channels that we're creating. This is a great treatment for patients who have never tried any type of laser aesthetic treatment. Kind of want to get their foot in the door and try something but doesn't want to do anything that has a lot of downtime where you really have to stay out of the sun for weeks to come or out in public because you've got to slather on the recovery treatment creams while you're healing. Are you laughing? She's trying not to sneeze. <laughs> Jeanette asked, how long is the downtime? Downtime with microneedling and PRP is about four to six days total. And that is the extreme version. We always would rather patients be pleasantly surprised and feel a little bit faster. But you have to give it a good six days, and it's going to progressively get better. And then Jesse, following up from that question, asks, how long will the skin be red for? Skin will be red for a few hours. It will slowly start to subside. Um, it won't be as intense tomorrow, which stay tuned because we're definitely going to post a picture of what Danielle looks like day to day throughout this whole process. Tomorrow she might be just a little red, not as red as she is right now. And it'll start to get better with each passing day. The good thing about the redness is that it can be covered up with our Oxygenetics makeup. We're actually going to match Danielle's skin type so we know exactly what to use on her tomorrow. And I'm pretty meticulous. I can see any little spots that might have been overlooked. You always want to just go back so that you're getting a very, very, very even treatment. And she's asking, can you wear makeup after this treatment? Um, and she just mentioned the Oxygenetics, and I think she's going to talk more about that, but... You want to talk about the Oxygenetics now? Yes, absolutely. So Oxygenetics is a wonderful brand of makeup that we carry here. If you want to even zoom in over there on the shelf, then, uh, Laura, so they can mm. see it. Yeah, let me. We match your skin type. I always write it in patient's chart so we know exactly what color works for them. It lays on your skin like a screen door, so it promotes oxygen flow in and out while also concealing a lot of the aftermath from any laser treatment or microneedling. I have a question. Ask away. When can I start using my um, normal skincare regimen? I say give it a good like two weeks. Ten, ten days. With my vitamin C? Um, my vitamin C you can wear after a week, but mm -hmm. anything, any harsh retinols, we want to we wanna wait a good two weeks. Actually, and if you're if you're setting up a series, just take a little break from the retinols. In between, okay. In between treatments, okay. yep. Because I love my Zuliani retinol. So for under the eye, we like to go pretty light because the skin is really thin. And we always pull outside the orbital rim. This is going to help with those fine lines and wrinkles. Puffiness, dark circles. How does that feel underneath the eyes, Danielle? Because I know that's Perfect. a sensitive area. I'm so good. Some patients could get a little bruising under the eye. That is totally normal. It will heal. I have had a couple patients um, swell a little bit after microneedling with any treatment. Cold compresses will decrease swelling, and it'll also draw the heat out. Hold on, on this one. Perfect. And I have this at a 0.5 right now, so it's very, very light. I don't feel anything. It's still pressure.
With patients that have really deep acne scars, I like to focus on that afterwards, after we've done the whole entire face. And her skin is going to soak up the rest of this PRP. Does it feel nice and tight, Danielle? It does. It kind of like really, leathery almost. Yep. It feels nice and tight. Yep. yep. That's normal. It's not going to rip. It might peel a little bit. The first time I ever did PRP, I didn't peel. And then the second time, I got a little bit of dry skin around my mouth. But that's because I really wanted to focus on my upper lip lines and my marionette lines. So we did a couple extra passes there. I have a question. Why yes. I feel tight? It's just going to help tighten a little bit of my skin. Oh, absolutely. Know. Yes. That's the main purpose is those fine lines and wrinkles. And tightening. Firming, toning, tightening. Awesome. Thank you. This is a great treatment to use as your maintenance in between a little bit heavier lasers. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's a pretty quick procedure. This is what it looks like directly after. But that redness is going to subside over the next few hours. She's going to keep her face really moisturized. A lot of patients think that the redness is just associated with PRP. Even with um, regular microneedling, you'll get that erythema, you'll get that sunburn looking skin. And we just want this PRP to soak in. So we still have a little bit left over. While that's soaking in, I really want to talk about a couple of my favorite products that I like to use um, post microneedling treatments. Number one, hyaluronic acid. It's from our line here at Zuliani Facial Aesthetics. Um, hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its weight in water, so it's very, very hydrating and it's basically going to maximize any um, product that you use after. A little bit goes a long way with these. I call them our magic blue drops. One, two. That's all you need for your entire face. After microneedling, your skin is going to soak it up. So you'll probably use double that, um, but you'll notice that your skin progressively gets better because you're keeping it very, very hydrated. This is my second go-to product. It is a moisturizer, but it is an SPF 50. We always want to protect our skin. Favorite thing about this is that it's a little bit tinted. So it gives you um, just a little bit of coverage, but it's a moisturizer and a sunscreen. I use this every day. I have one in my tennis bag, my gym bag, my car. I layer it over my makeup. Favorite, favorite, favorite product. Um, this is a patient favorite, actually. It is our Soothing Green Tea Mist. It's a humectant. It has chamomile, witch hazel, vitamin C, green tea. And after your microneedling treatment, you feel very tight, right? Yes. Does it almost feel like your skin is going to... Yeah, when you're moving around your lips like yeah. that. It's not going to rip at all, no, but it just feel feels that. very, very tight. This gives immediate comfort. Um, so we love, love, love the way that this smells, the way that this feels. Um, and you should actually always apply product on damp skin anyway, so this is a patient favorite. And then I have to mention our two products that we are promoting this month. It's by Revision Skin Care and Teleshade. Um, the d biggest difference between these two and this one is this one gives you a little bit more coverage. So for patients that like that extra coverage but still want to wear SPF, we've got these options. And it comes in a matte finish and an original finish for like a little extra gloss if that's what you're looking for. But these are um, promoted for $63, so they're on special and it matches with any skin type. We love, love, love these ones. Now, I'm going to match Danielle's skin type with our Oxygenetics, and I think you're probably going to be... Can I see your hand for a second, please, my darling? Oh, no, that's too dark. You're going to be... Green, I bet. Yes. So, we are going to post a picture of what Danielle's skin is going to look like directly post-treatment with the Oxygenetics makeup on. You want it to be a little darker than her normal skin tone because we want it to cover up the redness. Yeah, that's going to be good. Just so you can see exactly how much it covers. So to wrap things up, we would love to talk to you more about this treatment, more about the amazing specials that we're offering this month. So please feel free to call and make a free consultation or to call the office and Danielle up at the front desk will tell you more about it. 
Tune in next week for Dr. Zuliani's hair restoration tutorial on Facebook, again at 4 p.m. And for any of those extra entries for the PRP microneedling session that we're giving away, tag as many friends as you want. Like the video. You could even share it if you wanted to, and we'll be announcing the video tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us.